the other big thing that we did was influencers and social. So we gave away quite a lot of tickets to people with social followings on um, usually Instagram or TikTok. So we made a huge list from massive celebrities to just small accounts. And even for us, because we invited pets, we had lots of dog accounts, like people have accounts on Instagram, pictures of their dogs. Um, I don't necessarily worry about the following massively. My general rule of thumb was, if we're asking them, it's okay. If they're asking us, we generally said no. Was the bottom line of it. I know that sounds, might sound mental. So if they're asking us, I generally found them to be the type of account that's just doing all this stuff all the time. While we were asking them, we tended to find accounts that weren't always just doing promotional stuff. And all we did for them accounts is offer them a free ticket. Many paid for additional tickets on top of the free tickets that we give them, uh, but we invited them out throughout the event. So we did a big chunk at the start, and then we invited some people throughout the event to keep the coverage up. But for us, that was probably the biggest strategy we did. I don't have a final number of how many people came through the door, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was maybe six, 700 came through the door as, as, as influencers or free tickets. And that gave us a huge swathe of promotion.